We have our first bowl of poke. We have gotten our Hawaiian lokomoko. We got some Hawaiian shaved ice. This is poi. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Honolulu. We are here in Hawaii on the island of Oahu, and today we're gonna bring you a Hawaiian food video. Hawaii has some of the most unique and delicious food in the entirety of the United States. I'm currently standing behind the hostel that we're doing a sponsorship with. This is Hosteling International Honolulu, but they are helping us make this video, so make sure you check them out down in the description below. And with that being said, let's go check out some delicious Hawaiian food here in Honolulu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first stop here on a Hawaiian food tour is going to be the Hawaiian Poke Company. I've actually never had poke before, so I'm super excited for this. Poke is like Hawaii's national dish. It's supposed to be delicious. We're going to head on in and get some poke. They're rated number one poke place in the entirety of Hawaii. From what I've read on the internet, well, let's head on in there, get some poke, and taste it for you. It's going to be exciting. Let's go on in. Uh, we've never had poke before. Do you have anything you'd recommend? We're not a huge fan of raw fish. Do they? You guys have cooked fish ones, or is it? You know, you're really missing out if you're not eating. No, no. I think I will try the raw one. Okay, I think I'll take the the miso garlic. The salmon. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks again. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with chopsticks. It's been a while since we've been in Japan and had chopsticks, so it's nice to have it back again in my hands. We have our first bowl of poke. This is my first time ever having poke. The people in there were super nice and they actually let us taste some of the poke. I tried this uh, miso salmon one and I actually decided I'm gonna go with this. So essentially poke is like raw fish placed over a bed of your type of rice. So you can see this is our sushi rice that we got. This is what the delicious miso covered salmon looks like and it looks really good. I'm excited to taste this. All right guys, once again, just to mention, I am not the biggest fan of raw fish, but Japan definitely opened me up because we had sushi so frequently there. I'm excited to try this though. It looks really fresh and really delicious. Mm. It's hard to get over the flavor of like the raw fish, but I've definitely discovered that I think the raw fish that I enjoy eating the most so far is salmon and it just works really well with this rice. Also the, the fact it is coated in miso, so like it really there's really not much of a fishy flavor and it's really cold and nice. But especially in this Hawaiian weather, it's really humid and hot. It's absolutely delicious. And right, Moshe is excited for this one, huh? I forgot, yeah, I got two different flavors. I think this is the, uh, the works poke and then this is the same thing that Tal had, the miso one, but uh, tuna. So Oh, you got yeah. tuna miso. Tuna miso. All right. What do you think? Very, very good. Yeah? It all works really well together. Oh, you don't get that much of like a, a tuna-y flavor. You definitely get it like towards the, the middle. I thought it'd be fitting also because this is one of the most like historic and prominent dishes in Hawaii to give you a little bit of history and meaning behind this dish. Poke actually means to cut or to like slice into a cube, something like that in Hawaiian. So it's believed that poke actually dates back to the time when the first Polynesian sailors made it to the Hawaiian Islands. Back then it was known to be just a simple meal of reef fish and seaweed and some salt and some nuts. And over time when different cultures made it to the Hawaiian Islands it became what it is now which is basically raw fish cubes usually salmon or ahi, tuna, some rice. All right guys, first stop for this Hawaiian food tour, poke. I'm like hands down the most famous dish in Hawaii. Absolutely delicious, that's amazing. We are going to finish this poke bowl and then jump on off to our next dish. So we're just crossing the street from the Hawaiian Poke Company right now. We're heading off to get some Hawaiian shaved ice. That's our next thing on this Hawaiian food tour. Hawaiian shaved ice, super popular, super famous in Hawaii. So we're gonna get some of that. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some Hawaiian shaved ice. Everybody on my social media has been telling me I gotta try this since I got to Hawaii. We hit up Waiola shaved ice right by the Hawaiian Poke Company, just across the street. Yeah. This is a great little dessert to get after you have poke. I got cotton candy flavor, well she got mango flavor. Mango. I'm gonna try yours first, because I'm curious. Mango flavored Hawaiian shaved ice. Oh wow, that's so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. That tastes like a... I wasn't expecting that. What? Wow. Holy crap, guys, this is, it's not like the shaved ice you think it would be. Yeah, because we have like snow cones. That's what we call them in, in Miami, at least. And it's really good. So it goes for about 250 a cup, like this small. It makes sense why you would eat this. Oh, it's so hot out here in Hawaii. Oh my God, that really hurts my head. Oh God, I gotta take a break. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying over here. That's painful. Hawaiian shaved ice, second thing on the list here in the Hawaiian food. That gets a big old A plus for me and Moshe. Yeah. And damn, it's a lot more filling than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> All 
All right, we're gonna continue this Hawaiian food tour and go to our next location. Let's do it. All right, so now we have jumped to a restaurant called Teddy's Bigger Burgers. This is actually a super famous chain of Hawaiian burgers here in Hawaii. Uh, they're found all over Oahu. You can find them anywhere. So we're gonna jump on in and get a few burgers and uh, try them for you on camera. Let's do it. Uh, can I get two burgers that are like just the burgers? For here to go. Uh, for here. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have received our burgers. There's seating on the inside and on the outside. We've chosen the outside because it's a little less loud. So this is what they call a son of a burger. It's like a $4 burger that you can add. They have a bunch of different styles in their menu on the inside. I opted for the Hawaiian one because obviously we're in Hawaii. And it comes with teriyaki burger and a pineapple, lettuce, tomato, onion, all the good stuff. We've also gotten some delicious sweet potato fries. These look amazing. They look salted to perfection and fried to perfection. And Moshe, who's currently behind the camera, has opted to get their fried Pollock burger. This is their fish burger, which also looks insanely delicious. Let's uh, let's bite in to our little Hawaiian burger. Mmm. It is a tiny burger patty. You can see it's leaking a lot, a lot of juice. That's great. Full clarity. We've been in Hawaii now for almost a month, and we've been eating here pretty frequently. I have to say, there hasn't been a moment where these burgers have disappointed me. They've been delicious every single time, so I'm, uh, I couldn't recommend them enough. Are you excited to dig into this burger? I am. It looks really, really good. They have this special sauce that they put on here. It's like this yellowish sauce, and it goes so well. So well with this fish, man. It's delicious. Last but not least is their famous delicious sweet potato fries. Look at these guys. Oh, I'm gonna dip this into some ketchup. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. God, guys, I could eat these all day. You have to stop me. Really, really good burgers. I have to say, meat, super juicy, super delicious. Pineapple's even really good. Highly recommend Teddy's Bigger Burgers. All right, we are bouncing off to our next dining spot after Teddy's Bigger Burgers, and I have to say, one thing that I love about Honolulu so far is like how walkable everything is. It really is a tiny city compared to a lot of cities we've been to. So there's really, you don't have to use public transportation here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have jumped to our next restaurant. We are standing outside of Da Ono. This is classic Hawaiian food. They're kind of like a, I think a mom and pop shop that are just located right here on this main street. We're gonna hop on in there and get a bunch of Hawaiian dishes. I don't know the names off the top of my head, but we will go over them when we get them in a minute. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be an exciting, very local taste of some local Hawaiian food. A small poi, the lami lami. Okay, one okay. Thank you very much. Take out, yeah? Yes, take oh. out, please. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We got our food. We got all the dishes. We're gonna bust them out for you one by one now. All right, guys, so this is poi. This is taro root turned into like a porridge. You like it? Um. Is it interesting? It's interesting. Is it sweet, salty? It's plain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. You really want it to be good. It's very sour. It's very creamy, but like really sour. Don't hate is it's not our personal flavor. I'm not I'm not super in love with that. All right, next up is a salmon lomi lomi. These names are starting to sound a little Filipino. This is essentially a fresh tomato, onion, and salmon salad. It's good, I'm just trying to figure out the flavors. The fish taste really blends in with the rest of everything. It kind of took in all the salmon, didn't they it? Like comp yeah, they like complement each other. I'm gonna try this Lamy Lamy salmon salad. Kind of just tastes like an Israeli salad. With some pieces of fish inside. It's very good. The tomatoes are really rich. Onions are very good. It does not taste tropical in the slightest. Like I would not expect this out of a place like Hawaii. But it's still very delicious. I like it a lot. It could complement a lot of dishes. If you were to put this on top of a pita with hummus and a falafel, it'd be delicious. This bag of goodness is called Lao Lao. Now we got a to-go bag, which is always interesting because when you get a to-go bag, you get to see what it's like when it's not on a plate. And this is essentially taro leaves, and I think there's a piece of chicken in here wrapped on the inside. Ooh, damn guys, that looks good. Mmm, wow, that is extremely delicious. The, the taro leaves, when they're cooked like this, they almost taste like artichoke leaves. Chicken just kind of shreds right off. 
That's definitely gotta be one of my favorite things we've had today. Mm. All right. Those are three classic mini Hawaiian dishes. Let's head off to our next Hawaiian dish. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to a place, our last final location here on our Hawaiian food tour called the Rainbow Drive, and we're testing out Hawaiian Lokomoko. It's supposed to be really delicious. We're gonna order some here. Can I get a Lokomoko plate? Uh, Thank her, you. Her little cousin is in a in Greece for oh. This looks insane. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten our Hawaiian Lokomoko. Two fried eggs with a hamburger, a bunch of gravy on rice, with macaroni salad on the side. It is a classic Hawaiian dish. We're gonna jump on in and taste this. All right, so I'm gonna break the egg. Ooh, get all that yellow. Over a piece of burger and some rice. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, I dig that a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, that tastes like it's gonna induce a heart attack soon. Boy, is that delicious. So I have to say, I don't know if this per se is the best place Rainbow Drive-In. We chose this one specifically just because it was close and it was on our way and it had really good reviews, but I don't know if this is the best place to try it. This originated on the big island of Hawaii. So if you're in Hawaii, I would probably recommend trying it there before you try it here on Oahu. We're just not heading off to the big island, so, you know, we wanted to try here. Oh, so good, but it's just so filling. Guys, that is me tapping out. I can't finish this, especially all this food that we had today. This is too much. So we are done with the food. We are going to head back to our hostel right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have jumped back to the hostel. It's actually cleared up quite nicely. I bought a Hawaiian shirt while we were out. Also, we got a bag of organic, locally grown fruit that we're gonna try. We got some mangoes and bananas. We're now going to head in and give you guys a hostel tour. And during the hostel tour, we're gonna taste these fruit. So first of all, I wanna tell you guys, this is Hosteling International Honolulu. They actually have two locations on Oahu where we are right now. One is in Waikiki Beach, the most popular beach in all of Hawaii. Everybody knows it. And then they have one here in the quieter area of Honolulu. So if you'd follow me in, I'm gonna to tour you guys through this awesome little hostel. What I really like about it is that this hostel reminds me a lot of some of the hostels that I've been to in Southeast Asia, like in the Philippines. It's very laid back, relaxed, quiet, really simple as you can see. So this would be your quote unquote lobby. This is kind of where you enter. This is the entrance of it. Your reception's right here. Everything's set up in these kind of little caravans. The side of it right here, we have our chill out dining area. So this is where you would eat. It's all outside, which is super nice. And the weather's always nice here, so it's good. And if it's raining, you're always covered by these umbrellas, which is good too. We got this awesome little patio to chill out in. Just like in Japan, when you enter the certain buildings, you take off your shoes. So we're gonna take off our shoes and head into the kitchen and show you guys the kitchen. Is always the most important place in every hostel. You got everything you need here. You got your plates, you got your cups, you got your utensils, you got your microwaves and your toasters and whatever you need to make yourself a delicious meal. But also, we got our fruits that we're gonna try. So let's do an impromptu fruit tasting, a local Hawaiian fruit tasting here in this kitchen. Okay, so we have our plate, place it down, and get us a knife. Oh, it's almost like it's cooking with clad again. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? So first of all, we got locally grown apple bananas. I don't know what that means. I've never heard of an apple banana before, but this is what they are. They're tiny, they look very ripe and delicious. Ooh, that's a delicious banana. I don't know why it's called an apple banana. It doesn't taste anything like an apple. And that's a delicious Hawaiian banana. We got our ripe, delicious mangoes. We picked them up at an organic supermarket. Let's see, hopefully they'll be good. I heard the mangoes in Hawaii are supposed to be very, very good. Ooh, this does look very good. Look at that color, guys. That's a good mango. The way I like to do my mango is uh, like this, a little checkerboard, and bump it up. Oh wow, mmm, 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 mmm. It's a great mango. With that being said, let's continue our hostel tour. It was a delicious mango. It was a very good mango, ladies and gentlemen. And now, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the sign for Hostel International. I wanna, let's pause for a little story. This company is one of the first companies to ever believe in me as a creator, and they have really helped out in a lot of places around the world. We've stayed with them, their companies, like their hostels, in Israel, in the UK, in the Philippines, in a bunch of places all over the world. So. Make sure that if you guys are somewhere, you look for them because usually they have the best prices for what you get and what you do in cool locations. And they're really, they got their, they got their stuff together. And we're gonna head on down here. Welcome to our laundry station, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, of course, you got yourself a washer. 
you got yourself the dryer, it's whatever you need. And if you head over here, you make it to the accommodation. This is the hall of the accommodation. I have to say that back here at night, it's super awesome because there's these awesome little day geckos that kind of crawl out of the jungle and come and hang out here on the walls. And the other night I was feeding one a banana from my hand and it's the cutest thing. You gotta take off your shoes before we head into the accommodation. What is your problem? <laughs> I have sandals You're like this. You're the worst cameraman. I'm trying. And we head on through. Welcome to our accommodation. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's very simple. It's nothing crazy. And even the owner of the hostel, she says it herself, it is very simple, but it's what you need. This is my bed. This is my station. This is where I'm hanging out as a boy. It's a it's it's a whole bunk bed situation. Yeah, we got a whole bunk bed room. It's a dorm style room. And then you come over here, you got your bathroom and shower facilities, you got your sinks and your mirrors, you got your toilets, and you got your shower room. Look at me with all my plants should stand over there. So, with that being said, we're going to end this video here, ladies and gentlemen. Another awesome day in Hawaii. Can you believe it? We're in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, make sure you check out a Hostling International down in the description below for freaking sending us out here. This boy, this boy in the hot sun, huh? This boy. This is what you have to be if you're a tallest cameraman. Your Hawaiian word of the day today is gonna be mai kai, which is tasty. Uh, because today was definitely tasty. Once again, if I'm butchering the pronunciation of that, I'm sorry, I'm not Hawaiian. We'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. If you're new here, click that little button. Don't miss it so you don't miss any of these videos. And uh, and if you want to support this channel, check out thetravelingcloud.com. If you want to buy some merchandise, you can support us there. Buy a t-shirt, buy a hoodie, buy a mug. We'll see you in the next one. I love you a long time. Goodbye.